A few years ago, I had an aha moment when Ray Archuleta said to me, we don't have a runoff problem, we have an infiltration problem. When farmers realize that they can control infiltration by following soil health principles, good things begin to happen. Really good things. This spring, farmer Al Miron and SDSU's Anthony Bly teamed up together to measure the influence of no-till cover crops and manure on infiltration in a number of fields in Minnehaha County. We caught up with this team and asked them to tell us about their project and how this work resulted in an aha moment for a neighbor. Right, so you're basically a farmer slash, slash researcher team that have basically been doing this research together, mm -hmm. is that yeah. correct? Yeah. And, and this is on your land? A part of this is on my land. Right. A part of it is on a neighboring land where we had permission from the neighbor to look at water infiltration okay, rates. Got and uh, he wanted to know what they were and the effect of cover crops on yep. water infiltration rates. And then what was this corn stover? This is the same gentleman's okay. land, yep. and he had corn the previous year. Yes. He removed the stover. He tilled it this spring. Okay. And he, well, he, I should back up, he deep tilled it okay. last fall. Yes. and then went through it and tilled it this spring with a soil finisher. Okay. And then we looked at the water and planted it into oats, by the way. And then we looked at the water infiltration rate on that land, which had been recently tilled. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, so talk to me. What, 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 what were the things that you guys saw? Well, we first of all wanted to look at whether or not the cover crop would... Uh, increase water infiltration okay. rate. Yeah. And so on my ground, which had been no-till for nine years, and we had planted a cover crop on a part of it, and we found that that 1.14 inches of water soaked in in 27 seconds when there was a cover crop. Okay. It took fast. somewhat longer, but still very good infiltration rates at 40 seconds with uh, the no cover crop right. portion. And then the second uh, 500 milliliters of water, which makes it uh, two and a quarter inches, took four minutes and 46 seconds yep. uh, where there was no cover crop, three and minutes and 51 seconds where there was a cover crop. Right. So uh, total two and a quarter inches, it took just a little over four minutes where there's cover crop and about five and a half minutes where there was no cover crop. To, yeah. to and according it. to what I know, you guys don't usually get two minutes and five, two, two inches in five minutes. No, we, no, not usually, but uh, <laughs> there's been some records set around okay. Sioux Falls. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really intense rainfall. Mm -hmm. Remind me again, this corn silage land, is that actually tilled? Is the, that conventionally tilled? This was... Uh, corn silage yep. uh, the previous year yes, yes. and it had been conventionally tilled in the spring of that previous year so it. it was approximately one year uh, later that this was done okay, one year from it. the time that it was right. tilled yep. and this also had with and without a cover crop okay and so then we looked at the water infiltration rates and they were still very good yes yes one minute and 22 seconds where there was no cover crop okay and 41 seconds where there was a cover crop. So again, we're seeing the improvement from a cover crop, even in a tillage situation. I've got you, yeah, yeah. But uh, if you compare the till situation with the no-till, we're fast in finding faster water infiltration with the no-till mm -hmm. situation. And, and what's kind of interesting to point out is the corn silage field has had a lot of manure applied to it. Okay, so that should really benefit the soil. Benefit, yeah. benefit soil a tillage structure. system, yep. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. The manure, in my opinion, is increasing the organic matter. A lot of that organic matter is right on the surface, and so it's aiding water infiltration. Gotcha. When we did the test, the ground was completely covered with organic material. Okay. Yep. Okay. So. All right. Yep. And tell me about this, this last uh, plot over here. Well, that belong, this land belonged to the same farmer as in the previous example. Right, right. He had corn there that was harvested for grain. Yes. And then he removed at least uh, most of the stover from the land. Okay. And he tilled it this spring and planted oats. Okay. And so there was no cover crop there. It did have manure the fall before. Okay. But 
the water infiltration rates were dramatically reduced with the tillage program. Okay. So, okay, go ahead. So you can see, I mean, uh, um, 36, 37, almost 40 minutes there to get that two and a quarter inches to go in the soil. So just that difference between uh, a system that's been about a year since it has been tilled versus mm -hmm. one that is freshly tilled, that uh, infiltration rate goes way down. Okay. So. With the tillage, you're destroying all the previous uh, root holes that might encourage water infiltration. You're destroying the worm holes, yes. and you're destroying some of the soil structure, eliminating some of that airspace where water might move into the soil more yep. quickly. Yeah, yeah. And is there a compaction element that's going on as well? Yeah, there probably is because the tillage is actually compacting the soil. I okay. mean, uh, with that, and there's a lot of heavy equipment that passes across this land. But, but the 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 land that Al has, he has very. Uh, uh, well, good size equipment as well, very yeah. production scale okay. as well. So it should be pretty compare, fair comparison. In all of these trials, we replicated them three times or four, four times? Okay. Four so times. I was gonna ask we about. replicated it four times, and we always find a spot where you probably hit a tra tractor track, okay. and it takes a longer for the water to infiltrate, but this is an average of four tests. Right. And mm -hmm. uh, you can see that uh, uh, with that average, we're finding dramatic differences when the soil has been tilled. Yeah. So this is... Um, the same data, just showed a different way. Same data, mm -hmm. so yeah, I, this is quite dramatic over here. Yeah. So again, there's this paradox in my mind, or, or it seems to me, is that uh, conventional thinking thinks that, well, if you till, you know, you're gonna make water go into the ground. That, really doesn't seem to be the well, case over here. When we presented this data to the grower that uh, cooperated with us, um, other than Al, yeah. um, I basically would say that we experienced him having an aha moment. Okay. Because so, he was able to see the data from these uh, right, four right. sites first, right. and then on the second page of our report was this data. Okay. And when he turned it over, his expression was out of this world. <laughs> and what came out of his mouth was, well, Dad taught me that we worked the soil to make it like a sponge so it would take in the water. And so he had a reversal in his thinking just right then and there because of, because of this work that Al, Al and I did uh, on his place. So um, he's committed to cover crops. He realizes water is, is so important to him. Yep. Um, and I asked him, you mean water for your cows and water for your dairy, uh, the milking parlor? And he said, no, water for my forage. So he wants to in, improve his soil health so he can store more water. So he, he has an insurance policy for forage that, for, for his dairy. And so I think that's important. Well, this is a fantastic piece of work. I really admire the fact that extension and farmers are getting together and doing that. And I know you guys have worked together for a long time and I love those stories that come out yeah. of it. Al and Anthony, thank you so much. We appreciate your time Welcome. with us. Thank you, Buzz, for the work that you do. Yes, yep. sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. One of my favorite things is to watch the synergy that happens when a farmer and a researcher get together to collaborate. How cool was it to see Al and Anthony's results change their neighbor's view? And when farmers can see the data from their own fields, they don't need too much convincing. So what are other farmers in South Dakota saying about infiltration and soil moisture? Well, stick around and you'll find out in our next video.